Okay, hopefully everybody has done through row 17. So you're starting to see, you know, um, a circle shape for the face or the head actually. So now with row 18, hopefully you guys are using your stitch markers to mark the beginning of your rows. Starting with row 18 through 22, you're doing the same type of concept of doing a, a bunch of single crochets, but instead of increasing, you're going to be doing decreases. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And with row 18, I'm going to single crochet seven. So here's one, two. I like to add my stitch marker. And now we're going to do three, four, five, six, and seven. So the next is going to be a decrease. So you're going to go into this next single crochet, yarn over, pull up, and go into the next single crochet, yarn over, pull up. You have three loops on your hook and you're going to pull through all three loops and now you've done one decrease. So now you're going to go another seven single crochets. One, oops, ah, I lost my stuff. Hold on a second. There's my decrease. So we're going to do one single crochet, two single crochets, three single crochets, four single crochet, five single crochet, six, and seven. And now we're going to do another decrease. So we're going to go into this single crochet, pull up, yarn over and pull up a loop, go into the next single crochet, yarn over and pull up, three loops on the hook, and you're going to pull through all three. Now you've done another decrease. So continue doing that across the row. When you get to your marker, you're going to go to row 19 and do decreases. Same for 20, row 21, row 22. And then we'll come back together at row 22, um, at the end of row 22. So go ahead and do your work, and we'll see you shortly.